play Ying, Wofford competed our tails off on the defensive end. 243 Wofford's coach Mike Young credits his team's heart and toughness on the defensive end in their win over number 5 North Carolina. 2-431, 1, 1 a.m. at this was supposed to be something of a rebuilding year for North Carolina. And despite the Tar Heels' lofty number 5 ranking entering the week, their 79-75 loss to Wofford on Wednesday showed that they're not the same team that ripped through the NCAA tournament in recent years. The last couple of seasons, North Carolina had different escape routes on the offensive end. If Marcus Page WASNT scoring, they had Bryce Johnson in the post. Kennedy Meeks and Isaiah Hicks were options down low last season. Justin Jackson could score at all three levels, but especially in the mid-range. Joel Berry was an elite point guard. Roy Williams had myriad options. This season, the Tar Heels have a much slimmer margin for error, and their upset loss at the hands of Wofford was further evidence. It was the Terriers' first win over an AP Top 25 team, having entered the game 0-25 in such games. This is a Wofford team that was 4-4 this season against Division I opponents before Wednesday, including a 20-point loss to UNC Asheville. Regardless of the weapons at Williams' disposal, this was a game North Carolina should have won. But off nights occur, and unfortunately for the Tar Heels, they don't have the answers they've had in the past. Luke May ended up with fine stats 17 points, 14 rebounds, but he started the game 1 for 11 from the field and ended up shooting 4 for 16. Kenny Williams, who has become the primary perimeter shooter for Carolina and hit double figures in 10 of his first 11 games, made 3 shots from the field. Barry was very good, especially late, but he did and get enough help from his supporting cast. Joel Barry too and the number 5 Tar Heels simply came up short against Wofford, in multiple phases of the game. AP Photo, Ellen Osher, Michigan State and Wofford are two very different teams, but North Carolina's only two losses of the season came to the Spartans and Terriers and there are clear similarities between the two. Both games were Kenny Williams' only two night and double figures. May had his two worst shooting games of the season in the two losses 3 for 13 for 8 points against Michigan State. Against the Spartans, Barry struggled en route to a 7-point performance, while Theo Pinson was the lone bright spot. On Wednesday, Barry was a bright spot, while Pinson scored 2 points. This ISNT your usual North Carolina team of recent years that throws out multiple veteran big men with 5-star pedigrees, along with a couple of future pros on the perimeter. They have three freshman post players, Garrison Brooks, Sterling Manley and Brandon Huffman, who have done surprisingly well this season, but they're not at the stage where Roy Williams can draw up a play to just throw them the ball on the block and get a bucket. Pinson is a relative non-shooter and not someone to get his own look off the dribble. Williams is a solid ancillary option who can make shots from the perimeter. This team revolves around Barry and May, and Carolina can't afford either player to go long stretches without scoring. The Tar Heels got a boost Wednesday with the debut of Cameron Johnson, a graduate transfer from Pittsburgh who missed the first month of the season because of a knee injury. Johnson is 6'8 and shot 41.5% from three-point range last season. He made only one shot against Wofford but scored 10 points in 17 minutes. Late in the game, North Carolina used a lineup with Johnson and May up front, and Barry, Johnson and Pinson on the perimeter. It's clearly the Tar Heels' best offensive grouping, and one Williams probably will use more often moving forward. Johnson ISNT going to be someone who goes out and gets 20 points every night, but he's another weapon on the offensive end, which is exactly what the Tar Heels need right now. North Carolina ISNT going to overwhelm teams the way it has in the past. It's not going to be able to rely on three- and four-year starters at every position. There certainly are worse duos to start a team with than Barry and May, but Williams knows he needs top-notch performances from those two on a nightly basis to win in the ACC. On Wednesday against Wofford, those performances came a little too late. And the Tar Heels simply don't have the margin for error to survive that anymore.